Hello, I'm Abdul Fatah Amnir. Uh, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. In this session of uh, training, I will we'll be showing us how we uh, the best way to record our uh, advance payment made to vendors and how to apply such advance payment on a subsequent bill that you might incur with the vendor. So this is how it is. First of all, you made an advance payment to the vendor. Then secondly, you now uh, purchase on credit from the vendor. Then ask the vendor to apply to 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 set off this debt you are owing uh, him or him or her with that advance payment you've made earlier. Okay. First of all, let's go to report and go to company and financial go to balance sheets. I want to see the report of my account payable. So coming down to liability and equity, you can see we have account payable of 270. I'll click on that. I want to see who we are going. So over here, I'm just going to put all so that I see the report for all. Okay. Now uh, I can decide to bring it out by vendor so that we can see each of them. So we are still holding the subcontractor and we are still holding uh, Transcorp. So in that case, I want to create a new vendor. So I'll go to vendor center. So let's say we are not holding anyone. And um, this is a new vendor and we've made advance payments. So I I'm going to be naming this vendor Iberi. Iberi Chine Dun. Chine Dun. Okay. Uh, and I decide to have then if she has if Iberia has a company name I would put the company name here okay so I just need that information alone I'll go ahead and click on okay now once I'm done you can see there is no transaction with Iberi so let's go ahead I'll click on home yeah uh first off you can go ahead and write check you can go to banking here and then uh, write check or control W okay now we are writing check from the Zen bank that I have here. I think we don't have any money there. Okay, let's see if I have in petty cash. Okay, I think I have in petty cash. What about premium trust bank? I have in premium. Let me use premium trust bank. Okay, so I'm going to select from the pay to the vendor order off. I'm going to select a uh, very Okay, then this is the uh, 0002. That, that that should be the invoice um the payment or receipt or teller number since it is payments is all the check number it depends and if i want to print later i'll just click on print so that it doesn't show me any place to input the uh number in right okay 003 then uh the date is uh, 20th of um, february so then i can go ahead to select what transaction or what item do I want to? So let's say I want to incur an expense. And um, the expense is on postage and uh, delivery, or let's say professional service. And this professional service is worth 50,000. Sorry, we are making an advance payment, okay? So we are not actually paying for anything, right? So the, the correct account we are supposed to select is account payable account okay so we're going to select account payable remember i said we want to make an advance payment first then we'll now come later and incur a bill a credit uh transaction with a berry then uh, then inform a berry to net it off with the advance payment we made earlier which is what we want to do now so let's first of all make the advance payment so we're paying to a berry but we're selecting account payable here okay so i'm going to go ahead and select uh can decide um advance advance payments okay mm, can decide to copy that and then um, have it over here uh here okay it came out twice advance payments okay so let me go ahead and save and then close now uh we've made this advance payment how do we confirm that we've made this advance payment so we'll go to reports right okay i have some windows open here let me go to balance sheet i'll refresh that now from balance sheet here you can see 
I'm having a figure called over account payable. Once I double click on this, you see, formerly it was 270, but now it's showing me 220. It means it has subtracted for report purpose. For report purpose, it has um, reduced this 270 by 50,000 to give us 220, right? For report purpose, as an, as an, as an advance payment for report purpose here. But then when we go to customer uh, vendor center uh, and select a bere, you see a bere is reading minus 50. So it means we actually we've actually make payment to a bere for 50,000. So let's go ahead and make a credit transaction. Remember I said if you want to uh, carry out a credit transaction in QuickBook, you create a bill. You enter bill. So let's enter bill and um, let's use tomorrow's dates. So let's say 22, uh, 21. Okay, that was the date, and I'm going to select the berry. Okay, now I've selected the berry, and um, the date is uh, 21st. Then the bill number, the invoice number I'm receiving, so it might be INV1123. It depends on whatever invoice you are receiving from the berry. Then, if you have uh, normally the automatic dates is 10 days, it used to set to 10 days. For bill due, so it might be that your bill is is due as that when you receive it. So instead, you can just put due on receipt so that it will start reading that is due. Depend on the agreement you entered with the uh, with a bill exchange. Okay, so this time around, we are going to incur an expense, and that expense is professional. Um, in this professional service, then let's say we. Uh, actually pay the advance payment 50,000 okay for professional service so now we are good to go so I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and close okay now when you go to when you go to vendor center you see that um, a bill is reading zero because there is in and out transaction that came in and also uh, the bill is 50,000 so also the check is 50,000 so you can see at the end of the day you showing minus uh, zero here but once we go to uh, balance sheets you see it's still showing 220 it now actually changed because that 50,000 was reflecting here and it's still showing here initially I had to, uh, uh, you see, formerly it was only showing on this angle, but now it's showing here as um, 50,000 we've paid. So over here, we're supposed to see that the transaction, uh, remember the date is 21st, okay? So I'm going to select 21st instead. Here it's still showing 220, so let me select 21st because of I use tomorrow's date so you see we have um, 270,000 so how do you now apply this so remember you have to use you are using accountant uh, or enterprise solution so once you come to accountant you go to client data review then you go to fix unapplied vendor payment and credit okay as I click on that is going to direct me to where I would uh, apply this payment. Now, a berry has, uh, I have a credit, an advance payment I have made to a berry, and I have also uh, made, created a bill on credit. So we are supposed to clear this amount with this other amount. So remember, if I exit this, Let's say I want to create a check now. I want to create a check. And the check is to a berry. Okay. You see, it's showing me that there are open bills for this vendor as shown below. Using the right check window to pay an open bill because your account company, blah, 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 blah. But then, the point is, for the fact that the customer center is showing that a berry uh, we are, uh, the, the, the balance is zero the bill is still reading it's still reading that a very 
we are holding a bidding 50,000. That is why this information is showing. And why is it showing us that information? It's because we've not cleared or applied the advance payment that we made earlier. So if you do this, you are, if you want to write check, I still go ahead. But the proper way to uh, write check is to uh, to pay for the bill you are owing before is to pay bill. Remember, I did click enter bill. So if I want to pay, I come to pay bill. Now, if I follow through this method again, also, you will see that uh, I will select a bill. Now, you see it's still showing that there is a bill for me to pay. You can see through this method, you can still see that it's still showing that we are meant to pay a bill. We are still owing a bill fifty thousand. We've not paid a bill. Okay. Once I click on that information, you see over here that there is a credit. There is one credit for a bill. That that is there's one advance payment we've made to a bill. Is that not so? So instead of using my Zenny bank to pay, I might decide to go to set credits. I want to make use of the credit to clear the bill I'm going a bill. So once I'm done here, I'll just click on done. I have cleared the bill from this angle. Remember, I wanted using another angle before, but I decided to use this same this angle here, and you can see that we've cleared the bill. So now can check this balance we have 528 nothing is going to go out of this place so pay selected now uh done okay that is now let's go back again and uh, pay bill you can see a bill is no longer here and this balance is still showing us 528 just like it it was showing us before and if you say okay what if it is out of uh, premium trust yes it was initially the advancement was made from premium trust bank so it's it's fine the zenith is still showing 528 so it means we do not actually pay from the bank or anywhere we only use that set credit that i selected the other time to pay so this is the best way you clear an advance payment you've made earlier or else quibook will still reflect it will still be reflecting in quibook that you are holding that particular vendor if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section uh, subscribe to my youtube channel like my videos you can share my videos also and uh, click on the notification button so that you get notified whenever i make new uh interesting video